Hey guys, VDP here, and welcome back to some more Blue Reflection Second Light. But before we continue, I'd like to remind you to kick that subscribe button and kick the bell to be notified when I do upload. But also, leave a like and comment down below. Okay, let's try and, um. Let's try and make something new. So we can make this, right? Sharp shooting practice. So, what will this actually do? Will this unlock a new story thing? Uh, let's give it a go. That might actually be the case. Oh god, where, where are we going to put this? Put that there instead of... um The study desks? That can work. Oh, 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 we got a scene. Oh, it is done. A game booth. It feels so familiar. That's amazing. You hit all of your shots. Of course I did. I can do this all night. How are you so good at this? I often went to festivals held in my hometown. I keep doing it every year and you just learn. That's right, we chatted once at a festival, we all went together. She was so good at shooting, she was important to me. Oh, Kira, no, Kira, Kuno. Huh? Oh no. She's here. We summoned her. Wait, Heartscape? I was expecting a notification for free space. I don't see anyone. Kurara, are you here? I can up until now, we got a notification for free space telling us who the new person was, right? I'm not sure what's going on, but... Have we got a hardscape on our hands? I oh, so we better go check it out. Oh my god! So we've got a hardscape, but we haven't got a person to go with the hardscape. What the hell is happening? Also, we got some more spare memories down here. I'm not sure what these spare memories do, but let's go and check them out. Whoa, that lighthouse is huge. It's supposedly a famous tourist attraction in this area. Maybe we can take a look later. Will you still have unpack everything? Dad? I'll just go ahead and take a look by myself. Hey now, you're not going anywhere till we're done here. Oh, okay, okay. I believe that even after we lose our memories, we find each other and become friends all over again. And you be shining. You become the Hello Tile or whatever that is. All I ask is that you don't have any regrets. Okay, thank you. What a weird situation we're in. We do have another date to do, but I don't know... Oh my god, we got another three dates, haven't we? We're just gonna go to a new heart space. That's what we're gonna do. New heart space, here we are. We gotta be level 26, which I believe we are level 27, so... Let's give it a go! Oh wow, this looks cool. 
Is this a village? I see game booths. Maybe they're having a festival? We're in nature, but there do seem to be people around. It seems a bit different from Usubu's. What is that? Whoa, it's a person! Kurawa! That's Kurawa Kuno? She's not conscious. We better take her to the nurse's office. So is this the girl? Yes, she was very important to me and my team. She's breathing, but she's not waking up. The power from her emotions and memories have grown thin. What happened? The, emotion en the emotional energy used to maintain oasis wouldn't cause this. There has to be another reason. Will she ever wake up? Lacking emotional power is similar to being in a severely fatigued state. So, if we can help her recover some of those emotions, she might wake up. Can we make some kind of medicine or anything? You can totally make medicine. Resource. Take some of your feelings and stuff it in a pill, a little from everyone, and she's as good as new. Do you really think it could really work? It's worth a try at, at least. Yuzu, can you help us too? Understood. Kurawa. Hold on just a little longer, I'll save you, I promise. Riesel said we should share our emotions with her, but what does that actually mean? Kurawa's spirit is exhausted but rapidly calling. To reignite it, we need to give her something that will cause her body to flare up. For example, a concoction of embarrassing memories would work. You mean... We need to go to the hardscape and dig up our embarrassing memories in front of everyone? Exactly. What? What are you waiting for? Kurara needs our help. That's easy for you to say since you haven't gotten your memories back. 
I'll go first. Really? Oh, are you sure? To be honest, there's no words to describe how embarrassing it is, but... It's for Kurara's sake, so I'll do my best. Oh, you're so awesome. Okay, this is from when I was in middle school. I was going through a bit of a goth phase, and I had this book that I secretly wrote in class. I called it The Forbidden Time. The forbidden time, what does that mean? So. Beats me. Well, with a name like that, it's definitely not something she'd want anyone to say. Isn't admitting that embarrassing enough? Ugh. The more I think about it, the more embarrassed I feel. Let's wrap this up quickly. I was writing it I was writing in it in class one day. But on the way to my next class I realized I left it behind. I ran back to the classroom and... Whoa, dude, check this out. Forbidden time? The hell is that? Someone must have left it behind, there's no name on it. Let's take a look. <laughs> My true name is Moonshadow. These pages hold the forbidden untold histories of the underworld. The Holy Blade, splattered with blood, the prisoner cursed with an evil eye. <laughs> What's this? Angie Dechu? Ha! Huh. Do they think using friends makes it sound cool? This is so cringe. Whoever wrote this is messed up. Hehehehe. <laughs> Of course I couldn't say it was mine, I graduated middle school without telling a soul. <laughs> and the forbidden time is sealed away somewhere inside that school. In the end. What a moving tale. I underestimated you, Hosasaki. This is not the response I was expecting. After that, I think we all have to share our own embarrassing stories. That was awesome, Moonshadow. Ugh. Maybe we should stop here. Agreed. 
Hey, why? You can't just run away. That's not fair. I will not allow myself to be the only one subjected to this pain. I will unearth all of your deepest, most embarrassing memories, I swear it. <laughs> Seems like someone's a bit embarrassed. The fun greetings in everyone's heartscape. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Seems like we have a lot of quests. Okay, we got a quest from Inako. Let's go and check that one out. Right. Let's listen to her request. We should do something summary while we're here. Oh, she wants to build fireworks with me. No. We can do that. Has anyone anything been bothering you lately? So well, it doesn't seem like the heat's going to be letting up anytime soon. I was thinking that we might do something summary like fireworks. Fireworks? I like it. That would be a ton of fun. Yay, let's try making some. The stuff that's mixed with gunpowder makes different colours, right? Mm. Yep, I'm surprised you knew. I remember that sodium turns the fireworks yellow and copper turns them green and calcium turns them orange. Salt should be good enough for the sodium. For copper, I think we had wires in a crafting room. The calcium, on the other hand, <laughs> I think eggshells should work. <laughs> this almost feels like a science experiment. Yes. Totally. All right. Let's put this stuff together. Oh god, are we actually making fireworks? I do not trust any of you with fireworks. What other requests do we actually have? Do you have a request for me? Uh, no, but you want to go out on a date. And we'll pass at the moment. We will pass the date on at, at the moment. I'm not interested in dating you at the moment. I just want to see what the requests are. Then we'll do some dates. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to date you either. I feel like we got more. Kokoro. Surely you have a quest for me. No, you just want a date as well. Fuck it, I'm going on a date. Why not? Right, we're going to the shooting gallery. Why, why, why the hell not? I mean, your friend is laid down conscious, but... Why it says not your friend, is it? Or is it? I can't remember whose friend that is, actually. But screw it, someone there is laid unconscious. <laughs> we're just going to ignore them and go and have some fun at the shooting range. I totally forgot about the tent. Well, well, let's go to the tent, shall we? There we go. Hey, since you use a gun when you fight, are you any good at these shooting games? Well, I suppose I'm pretty good. They once banned me from playing for winning too many prizes when I was little. Banned? That's kind of cool. It's like you're one of those outlaws in a western movie. I bet they talked about the girl who beat the shooting booth at school. Ah, there were rumours. But no one knew what it was about me. Before I knew it, the story was blown way out of proportion. Something about a legendary gunman reincarnated into a kid who shot ten prizes with one bullet. Kids sure have an active imagination. I couldn't find the time to tell everyone it was me, so I just became the local, kind of local urban legend. 
Well, since we're here, why don't you show me your skills? <laughs> Just you what? Wow, perfect score. You really are the shooting booth outlaw. Hey, don't call me that. Please teach me your ways, master. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. First stand like this. Now tighten your elbows to your sides and hold the gun steady. Like this? Then bring your cheek in close and line your sight to the tip of the gun. Hmm. Hey, ow, that tickles. You won't be able to shoot straight if you squirm around like that. <laughs> I know, all right. Well, that's my advice. Give it a shot. Go. Yes. I did it. I hit it. Oh. Well done. Aha. Uh -huh. Yay. Kokoro leveled up. Ah. We got two more dates to do. Bloody dates, eh? Ah, oh, Kokoro, you leveled up. Okay. Rina, where are we going? Oh, we're going to the Morning Glory Garden, are we? Okay, if you insist. Whoa! That is a big gateway. What the hell? I never noticed how big it is until now. That is huge. Do you ever grow flowers in science class, Hosasaki? Mm. Yeah, we had to grow morning glories like these as a summer project. That's a blast from the past. <laughs> so did I. Waking up every day to give it water and recall its growth was quite the bother. Yeah, totally every day. <laughs> Don't tell me you're the type to do all their summer homework on the last day, aren't you? I had to draw all the stage of the flower from memory. It was hot, terrible. So I was supposed to find my own ways to make it into something interesting. I used the petals to dye water, then change the colour by adjusting its pH levels. I did some research on selective breeding and gave it a try, but didn't have much success, of course. Selective breeding plants? Sounds super cool. Indeed, it takes the work of multiple people over a large amount of time to produce even one acceptable plant after all. It really makes you appreciate the beauty of flowers even more, don't you think? Wow. Seems they aren't quite ready yet. What are you looking for? Seeds. They were once used to as medicine a lot time ago. Huh? They're good for you then. It's very potent and can be used as poison as well. Hey, you're not planning on using us as guinea pigs, are you? Of course not. I was merely going to inspect its composition in the lab. Phew. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> And that's another date done. Oh, Kokoro. Oh, can we talk? Are you okay? You seem a little upset. Actually, I was hoping you could give me some advice. Do you have a minute? Of course. What did you want to talk about? Um, I thought we could talk alone. Will you come with me? Oh. Do you remember what we talked about the last time we was here? Yes. Does that have something to do with that? 
あの話の続きっていうのかな It does sort of a continuation, I suppose. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Ever since then, I've been thinking about the promise I made to Shiho at the train station. She told you to allow yourself to rely on others and not to go through your struggles alone, right? Yes, but there was some, also something else. I promised not only to rely on others more, but also to make an effort to help others in need. So, you didn't mention how that's what's motivated you to become a reflector. Or may have changed since then, but I still don't believe I have the strength to save others. どうやったら強くなれるんだろうって、そんなことをずっと考えてたら、もやもやしてきて。I just keep thinking about how I can grow stronger. It's eating away at me. それで私に相談を。So you came to me for advice? Yeah. I don't know to be honest, I wanted to ask you the same. I've always wondered how you were so strong, Koro. I was so strong, Koro. When I first arrived here, I, lost, I was all lost and confused. You were the first person to lend me a hand. You're definitely a lot stronger than you think you are, Kokoro. you're definitely a lot stronger than you think you But if you're still worried, I'll stand by you. And that way, you'll be there for me when I need you. We can look after one another. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Ao. Anytime, you're starting to look like yourself again. Ah, oh, Kokoro's talents. We unlocked a new talent type. Ah, we still got bloody more dates to do as well, don't we? Oh God, we're not going to be doing them this episode. But what I will be doing is doing some talents quickly. The Kokoro's now unlocked a new. Whole new section. Wow. So we've got nothing in the fur. Oh. Um. Uh, let's do dodge. Yeah, we'll do dodge. That's yes, what we're going to do. Ow. What can we do with you? Attack boost? And Rina, we are going to learn revival boost on items. That could be helpful. Right, so your talent level 6. Everyone else is around 4 and 3. I reckon a max level for talents might be 10. So we got a lot more dates to do with a lot more people. Bloody hell. We got a lot to do. But yeah, we are running out of time in this episode, so join us then. But carry on. But we'll carry on in the next episode. But until then, bye bye!